The reason I wrote, I didn't know what to say. I've had the unfortunate experience of having two wives die of cancer, each after 20 years of marriage, which meant our relationship was very deep in both cases. And, and, and there's been other losses in my life, such as my father dying when I was uh, 12 years old and so forth, uh, that um, I found after my second wife died and I was started talking to people that I had known that hadn't had a chance to talk to me since she died, an unusual number of people come up to me and said, Dave, I was going to write you a letter, but I didn't know what to say. Or people would even come up to me at the memorial service and say, I don't know what to say. Um, and that became such a theme, I thought, you know what, I, I do know what to say. Uh, I guess I should actually share that with people. And to the point that I was asked several times to speak publicly, share, tell us to a group anywhere from 12 people to a thousand in a couple of cases, tell us what you've learned, tell us how we could have, people could have, could have helped you. So I, I started doing that more. One of the reasons I believe everybody should get a hold of my book and read it is because it's designed to help us help people who are grieving. It's not necessarily a prediction that you're going to grieve someday, so it's going to, I'm going to teach you how to do it. The book is, in a sense, a handbook on how to help somebody else. And my guess is that in the next year, you will have somebody in your life you know who experiences a loss. My book will help you be a better friend to them.